Hey everyone, welcome to question one associated with the cutoffs graphical representation lecture. As usual, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt the question on your own, and then watch the remainder of the video to see whether you did it correctly. So in this case, we're being asked, compared to graph one, what is the relative change in sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and NPV in graph two? Um, so we can see that whereas there's a lot more overlap in graph one, in graph two, there's basically no overlap and none of the D minus crosses to the right of the uh, cutoff and none of the D plus crosses to the left of the cutoff. We remember sensitivity is the probability of getting a positive test result given we have the disease. So in this case, it would be among those with the disease, how many had a positive test result? And we can see that in graph one, where there's this area to the left of the cutoff of patients with the disease who actually had a negative test result, in graph two, all of the disease positive graph lies to the right of our cutoff. And therefore, sensitivity is basically maxed out. Therefore, compared to graph one, graph two will have a higher sensitivity. And then we know sensitivity aligns with NPV, and therefore NPV will also go up. Now moving on to specificity, we remember this is the probability of getting a negative test result given you do not have the disease. So in graph one, we can see that there is this portion of the disease negative curve that lies to the right of the cutoff. Whereas in graph two, all of the disease negative patients are to the left of the cutoff. And therefore the probability of, getting, of having a negative test given you do not have the disease is higher in graph two because more of that disease negative curve lies to the left of the cutoff. Therefore specificity also will go up. And we know specificity tracks with PPV and therefore PPV should also go up. So in this case, all of our testing characteristics go up, sensitivity, specificity, PPV, and PV. If you had trouble with this, problem, I encourage you to rewatch the cutoffs graphical representation lecture. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.